So today I'm going to run through the practical process of entering for one of LCME's recorded exams. Now in order to make this as practical as possible for you guys, I'm going to actually go through the process of filming and submitting my own entry for a grade 2 acoustic guitar recorded exam. So this guide is probably going to be most useful for people who are entering for uh, acoustic guitar exams, but of course I think there are elements of the video that will be useful for people who are entering on other instruments. So I just put this video together myself. I thought it would just be useful for people who are a bit unsure about the process. It's not something um, I've actually done with LCME, um, but I followed all of the guidelines, so it should still be a useful video for people who are a bit unsure about any part of the process. So first of all, you're gonna to need to familiarize yourself with all the requirements and all the things that you actually need to record for a grade two acoustic guitar recorded exam. Now to do that, we're gonna go over to the LCME website. So you need to get yourself over to the LCME website um, and this is their recorded exams page. I'll make sure that I've obviously linked to this in the description, but it should look something like this. Notice how the recorded exams um, are highlighted on the left hand side. So first thing, you're gonna scroll down. Um, there's obviously you know quite a bit of information here. You need to check through if any of it is relevant for you. Scroll down, because I'm doing an acoustic guitar grade two exam, I'm gonna click the little acoustic guitar link here. Um, and these are the documents that you need to uh, familiarize yourself with. So I'm gonna, I love a little opening a new tab. I'm gonna open these all up uh, so we can go through them and highlight what you need. Now notice that I'm not obviously clicking on the bottom one because that's for step exams. Obviously if you're doing a step exam, you'll need to read that. But I'm gonna go through these documents and, and show you how to get from them what you need. So first of all, this one, um, the sort of requirements document, is really useful. It's got everything you need. You're gonna scroll right down um, and I'm gonna ignore that first part because that's pre-grade, that's step one, down to grades one to eight. And I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so hopefully you can see a bit more like that. So you can hopefully see that for component one, the first thing you need is for grades one and two, that's me, we're gonna select one rhythm study um, and either a melody or fingerstyle study. I'm gonna select a fingerstyle study. So I'm gonna be doing rhythm study number one and fingerstyle study number one. Great, now obviously for different grades, there are different requirements, but that's fine. That's my first component sorted. Scroll down a bit further. I'm actually gonna zoom in a little bit more and we can see that component two, um, technical work, etc. We need to select two of either of these three, sorry, two of any of these three options. So the first one I'm going to select today is performance of set of fingerboard knowledge, or as I call it, technical work. Um, and I'm going to select a prepared accompaniment, which I will talk about in a second. Um, so that's sorted. That's my component two. Component three is the discussion, which is just the set questions in the document, which I'm going to show you now. So that's all sorted. You know exactly what you're doing. Let's move over to the technical requirements. This is a very useful document. Again, I shall zoom in a bit like that. Scroll down. So this lists everything you need for, for the technical work in your exam. So I'm gonna scroll down again, not step one, not grade one, come down, very useful, there's my grade two. So grade two technical requirements, these are all the chords and the scales that you'll need to play, they're quite clearly listed here, um, as are the discussion questions. Next, over to here, so these are the downloads. Again, I'll zoom in so you can, I think I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see. So I'm doing grade two, so I'm gonna uh, click on grade two, and you'll see that um, this is for the accompaniment because for the accompaniment you need a PDF chart. So I've already downloaded these, but I'll just open them up anyway. I'm going to do accompaniment number one and my audio file is going to be, I'm going to need to download. I mean, just click on it. You can see that it downloads down here. That's great. You've got everything you need. There's my uh, accompaniment PDF chart. So I'm going to print that off and then I'm over to the checklist. This is quite a useful document. Again, I'll zoom in a bit scroll down it's just a kind of yeah checklist so you can check that you've got everything you need make sure each piece is recorded in one interrupted take and each video file has a clear title we'll go through that in a bit so that should give you everything you need um, you can print it all off we're now going to go back and talk about how we set up and actually get recording our exam so now that you have all the information that you need, um, I'd sort of suggest printing it off if you haven't already so it's on your music stand ready to go. You're gonna to need to get yourself a guitar. And if you need it for reference, a copy of the handbook for the grade that you're sitting. So at the moment I'm set up with the camera that I'm talking to and a condenser microphone which I use to pick up the sound. Now please bear in mind that's just how I record my videos. You do not need to do that for your recorded exam entry. It is perfectly sufficient to record your entry using your smartphone, a tablet, or a laptop. Now I actually did another video um, 
on the sort of more technical requirements for these exams, which I will make sure that I link to. Um, so if you're unsure on any of that, just go and check that video out. So I'm gonna record my entry using my phone. So it's a phone that's decent enough to pick up decent enough video quality and decent enough audio quality. So round about now, you'll be able to see the view from my phone and what my phone is picking up. You can quite clearly see that it's me playing my guitar. You can see that it's both my hands playing the instrument. No one else is doing it. The audio quality is, is perfectly good enough. Um, I'm close enough to my phone and there isn't any background noise. I'm just using the front camera of my phone because obviously I can then see what's being filmed, which really helps. But yeah, my phone is just on my music stand. It doesn't have to be anything particularly flash as long as it's good enough quality and the sound quality, you know, it, there isn't any background noise or anything like that. So everything needs to be recorded in one take. Now what that means is the whole exam doesn't need to be recorded in one take. And I'm gonna kind of demonstrate that as I film my entry but each section needs to be recorded in one take. So for example, I'm gonna do the rhythm playing study in a minute and I'm gonna do that in one take. So I'm gonna start recording, I'm gonna say what it is, I'm gonna play it and I'm gonna stop recording. And that is my file, my video file for the rhythm playing study. I will then do that same thing for every other part of the exam and I will have a few different files that I'll need to submit once I've finished. So now I'm gonna get started with the exam and look at component one. Now please bear in mind for this actual exam, I'm not gonna record everything with all of the repeats. I'm certainly not going to be playing all of the chords in the technical section. I'm gonna kind of make up my own questions because obviously I don't wanna give everything away. Um, so just bear that in mind, but here's an idea of how you will record the first part of your exam. So the camera goes on and I'll get on with it. Acoustic guitar grade two, rhythm study one. <laughs> Stop it there, and that's my rhythm playing study. So now I need to record my finger style study as the other part of component one. Acoustic guitar grade two, finger style study one. Please bear in mind that I am sight reading this entire exam. So next is component two, where I've chosen performance of set fingerboard knowledge and the accompaniment section. So for the performance of set fingerboard knowledge, you'll need to grab the sheet that was a handout on the LCME website and get that in front of you. Acoustic guitar grade two, technical requirements. A major seven chord. C major seven chord. A major scale, two octaves. Now obviously I made that a little bit shorter. As I said before, I'm not gonna go through and play all of the chords, but hopefully it gives you an idea of what you need to do and how you need to do it. So the second part of component two is the accompaniment section. Now there is a slight issue with me and the phone because I don't actually have any other way of playing the audio apart from using my phone because I have my laptop um, recording my audio. So anyway, what I'm gonna do is just show you how it works, um, but I'm gonna just do it with this camera so you can kind of get and still get an idea of what's going on. So obviously for the accompaniment, you need to find a way of playing the backing track. Now, I don't think with most devices there are a way of recording recording and playing separate audio at the same time. So you'll just need to find a way of doing that. I'm gonna just do it through my phone, which is why you can't see the video on my phone uh, and just have it play through my speakers. But here we go. This is to give you an idea. Acoustic guitar grade two, accompaniment number one.
the last part of the exam is the discussion. So I'm going to just show you kind of how that would work. Um, again, you need to refer to the sheet that is on the LCM website. It gives you uh, a selection of questions. Um, I'm going to just film this to camera here because it's kind of easier. Um, so here goes. Grade two acoustic guitar discussion questions. The note on the third fret of the second string is the note D. The sound hole on my guitar is located here. So obviously those aren't the questions in the exam, but it gives you an idea. That's very simple. Make sure you say everything before you play it so it's really clear what's going on. So that's it. I filled my exam. I really hope I pass. Um, so now it's a case of getting the files onto the LCME website, but before we do that, we're gonna just talk about how you label them. So I'm now in the process of sending all the video files over from my phone over to my laptop so I could submit them on the LCME website. You can probably submit them using your phone, I suppose. I just think it's a lot easier to do it with a laptop. But before we do that, you do need to make sure that you label all your files. So I'm gonna just show you as an example. Here's one of my files. This is the rhythm playing study that I just recorded. It's kind of me playing the rhythm study, you can see. Um, so you just need to think about how you're gonna label that. And I'm gonna give my name, I'll spell that right. I'm gonna say what, what it is, so it's acoustic guitar, uh, spell that right, grade two. And then I'm gonna label it as rhythm study, make sure I spell rhythm right, rhythm study one. So it's got my name, it's got what it is, and uh, uh, what grade it's for, sorry, and rhythm study. So that way it's really clear what it is, uh, what it's for, sorted. So now all that's left to do is to actually submit your entry. So you're gonna go back to the website that we were on before, and the LCME website for recorded exams. You scroll down until where it says upload your recorded performance here, and then click on there, and that takes you to this page. A few points there, make sure you read them through. Now I'm not actually gonna submit my entry, but it's pretty straightforward from here, to be honest with you. You're gonna submit, obviously, all of your details here. The next page takes you to um, where you would um, actually upload your video files, so all of your video files that you've just labeled, and the third step is paying for and actually submitting the exam. So that's it, that's how you film and submit your own entry with everything you need to know and how you need to do it. Just remember that any kind of, anything you're saying when you're on camera, it's just about being really clear. Um, you don't have to say you know exactly what I said in the order I did it um, and just bear in mind also you know things to, like I talked about making sure that the camera can see you and your instrument and it and do a quick sound check to check the sounds good um, and that should be everything please let us know if you've got any questions more than happy to sort of help um, and I hope you enjoy the video and uh, see you again